Hello, everyone. I'm Kai Wang. Today I'll present my progress on deep representations for multimodal understanding. During the past academic year, we focus on the interplay between continual learning and multimodal representations. We proposed a bookworm continual learning model, which is a generalization on zero-shot learning and continual learning. As far as we have known, it's the first study about how forgetting influences this setting. And our proposed model is illustrated below. On the left and middle, there are flowcharts about continual learning and zero-shot learning. On the right, we show how to combine them into one model. In continual learning, we update the model by continually getting new images and labels pairs from current task. In zero-shot learning, we don't update model, instead we predict labels for unknown objects by inference from their semantic information, such as label word embeddings, attributes annotations or label descriptions. And then in our model, we have both. We update models with current task, at the same time we also have the ability to predict unseen categories. Then I'll show you how could we do that. First, in time t, the feature extractor is trained with current data to make it work on new task, as to the forgetting in backbone model, we use feature distillation to overcome it. And then in training for conditional variational autoencoder with current data, we train it with memory replay GAN to tackle the drifting forgetting in decoder. And because the condition of variational autoencoder is from labels attributes annotations, this model could also generate image features for unseen categories. So in the next step for training unified classifiers of all categories, these generated features for the past tasks and future tasks are used to make the classifier make prediction for all in test stage. That's the all things in our bidirectional imagination framework for bookworm continual learning. For the next year, we will still focus on problems about overcoming forgetting in deep learning models. That includes continual multimodal retrieval and continual image recognition and so on. The more interesting thing might be on multimodal setting. Because there are two different modules and we are curious about what would happen in these two modalities, and how could we overcome forgetting for these two parts at the same time. As to my personal challenge, I think it should be successfully graduate, and I will try to do as my motto says, no more, do more and keep focus. That's all, thanks.